Good afternoon, Cougars. I'm Tierra Brown, and you're watching Cougar Paws on the CBN. And I'm Erica Garcia, and Audrey Panetta is providing signing for our deaf friends. Today is Friday, March 31st. Alrighty, Cougars, we have a few students who deserve a shout out. Our first shout out comes from Coach Moreland. As he says, he wants to give a big shout out to 10th grader Julian Santiago. We were outside walking for track for PE today and Julian, without even being asked, walked over to a garbage can that had been turned over by the wind and began picking up the garbage that had spilled out. This was some nasty and wet stuff. If you have Julian or know Julian, Please tell him and thank him for his great job that he has done. And this shout out comes from Coach Crawford about a guy whose name you've heard before. Crawford reports Western Hills senior Zach Smotherman was an honorable mention class 5A player of the week in Texas high school baseball. Zach threw a five inning perfect game while striking out 12 O.D. Wyatt hitters. In his last three starts, he has had an ERA of .467 and has 27 strikeouts in his last 15 innings. Well, in other baseball news, Cougars play at Arlington Heights tonight. That's right, tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. First place is always on the mat. Here's a to-do list for you. Seniors from Mrs. Bounds in the counseling office. One, go by the table at lunch or see Mr. Brown before or after school to check the spelling for your diploma. Any student who does not check it will not have another chance. You will get what you get. Number two, if you have not ordered your cap or gown, you need to see Mr. Brown or Mrs. Bounce ASAP. Number three, less than 10 people have signed up for Six Flags. Mrs. Bounce has to have a final number by next Friday. Pay your $25 deposit by next Friday or see Mrs. Bounds to make other arrangements. Four, and this one is for everyone. Attendance recovery is every Monday through Thursday in room 117 with Coach Yeager, either before school at 729 or right after school. Do not be late. Don't know if you need it? Check with the attendance office. Alrighty, and there are some scholarships offerings you should know about. The Benbrook Police... Officers Association has a scholarship available for you. See the Go Center staff for more information. Several years ago, the Tarrant County Panhandle Council, an umbrella organization for nine fraternities and sororities, started a scholarship in memory of assistant principal Denise Catherine's father. Excuse me, Denise Khan's father. Teachers are asked to look at the information Ms. Khan sent to you and look at the requirements for this year. If you have a student who qualifies, make sure he or she gets this application. It would be too cool if the scholarships committee of the PAN selected one or two Western Hills students for this prestigious award. There are several things going on this weekend for Active Cougars. The Key Club will be hosting Cowtown Cleanup Saturday, April 1st here at Western Hills. Please meet in front of the building at 8 a.m. We have two locations that need attention, so there is plenty to do. Wear, clo wear clothes, toed shoes, and bring your sunglasses and water, maybe some sunscreen. And finally, the band wants everyone to come support the Cougar Band in the Winter Guard this Saturday, April 1st, at the annual Bad Bazaana. From 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the cafeteria, there will be delicious drinks, snacks, desserts, and auction items for sale. While you shop, enjoy the sights and sounds of the Cougar Band by seeing the 2017 Winter Guard Show, hearing performances and solos, small assemblies, and the jazz band. Ah, Perry, the city of lights, the sights, the sounds, the smells, the food, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower leads this segment of Today in History. It was on this day in 1889 that the Eiffel Tower was dedicated in Paris in ceremony presented over by Gustave Eiffel, the tower designer and attended by French Prime Minister Pierre Tirard, a handful of other dignitaries of 200 construction workers, taller than, 81, taller than an 81-story building. The tower was constructed to honor the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution 
and is considered one of the seventh wonders of the New World. And finally, on the literary front, Charles Dickens released his first novel called The Pickwick Papers in 1836. Well, with that, Cougars, we are history. I am T. Brown, and Audrey Pernetta is signing for us today. And I'm Erica Garcia, wishing you a good day and some good news.